Panther softball is coming off a year where they finished second in the OVC, but now that the 2013 schedule is rapidly approaching, the Panthers are excited to get back on the field. So excited. I'm ready, and more importantly, I think the girls are ready, and they're kind of hungry for it. Um, two years ago, winning and being 40 and 12 was awesome, and I think they forgot how hard they had to work last year, so finishing second kind of left that bittersweet taste in your mouth. And I think that this year they have that desire, that work. They remember how hard they have to work. They're working hard right now, and um, we're having some good days at practice right now. So we're excited. I am really excited. I know that we have a lot of returning players, and we've got a few new girls, and I know that they're all thoroughly excited as well. And a lot of us are, just can't wait for these next you know, few weeks of practice to get over with so we can start traveling and Show, show coaches what we got and show the other teams what we got. The Panthers are going to rely on their arms again in 2013 with even more depth and experience in the circle than they had last season. Pitching, um, we've doubled our numbers. You know, we lost, we lost Amber May two years ago. The day really stepped up last year, and we rode her pretty hard. But now she has some help. Um, she has Hannah Menega, who was our number two last year, and we have a new kid, Janelle Robinson, um, who's who's really challenging right now. And each day of the four, including Hutchinson, one of them steps up and leads the pack, and it's nice to see a different leader um, as far as numbers go from that staff. I think Mede is kind of the anchor with experience and leadership, and but as far as numbers and wanting to be our number one, each of the four want that spot, so that's kind of fun. Despite that strength, the 2013 Panthers are going to have more weapons in their arsenal than just pitching. We have a nice combination of speed, of traditional base hit hitting, but we have some new, new pop in our bats. Um, so we want Mo to have a green light and steal bases. That's my big goal for her is she can do crazy things. She's kind of like our little Takenya on the softball field. Um, so I want to, we want to not get in her way and not hold her back, cut her loose. I really like it. I think that my other two seniors will enjoy it as well. And we feel that we're um, trying our best to influence the girls as, as best as we can and show them you know, the ropes and the freshmen, you know, how to do things and make sure that they're as comfortable as possible, like, um, during practice and make sure they have no questions with anything. And we're just really excited to start our senior year. So those three seniors, I look to them. I look to them for meetings in the office. I look to them for getting practice set up and they've done a good job. The Panthers will be entering this season with a target on their backs, while at the same time shooting to take down defending champion UT Martin. Uh, well, I know last year we were a little disappointed with uh, where we placed compared to, you know, two years ago. So I think we're looking to uh, get first again, obviously, and maybe get a little further than that because I know it's a little overwhelming once you get past the uh, conference games and you go to the tournament. So I know that we're going to try and focus, you know, we always harp on like one game at a time, you know, one inning at a time, one pitch at a time. So I think that's what we're going to mainly stick to is just those small things and making sure that what we need to focus on is in the now and not so, so much harping on what we're doing, you know, six weeks from now. Well, I think UTM, they, they're always a dogfight when we play them. They've lost a lot of seniors last year, so I really don't know what they have. Uh, Jack State's always has the power. They have the other, I would say, the other top pitcher in the conference and Tiffany Harbin at Jack State. So between those three teams. Um, last year, though, I saw a, a good team in Eastern Kentucky, and I think they're going to kind of jump and surprise some people this year. Panthers open their 2013 schedule February 16th in Montgomery, Alabama, and Coach Shooty believes training in the cold will help the Panthers when they head down south. It kind of is what it is, you know, and, and we get ecstatic when we have a 60 degree weather day, and we're just thrilled. We're like little kids on our birthday, you know, so um, you kind of just take it for what it is, and actually I think it makes Midwest kids tougher and I hope it makes our team tougher when we go down and play those warmer weather schools.
Reporting for Panther Sports Talk, I'm Brad Kupiak.